Fuck the man! Then I got Corona. Yeah, what's up? Oh, oh. What you gonna do? 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 Now you, you don't talk to my property. You don't buy it. I don't give a. I work hard for it. I'm in the middle of nowhere. So. Go. Listen, take us out in the middle of the. Are you stupid? I only have to like do something. Did I told you to get out in the gas station? You didn't. They don't fuck the man. I wanted to talk about this video when it first happened. I was busy. I ain't even gonna hold you. <laughs> I was too busy to do it. But the story started unfolding and more stuff started happening, right? So the second video happened. I said, man, I missed out on it, man. Then the third thing happened. I said, God damn, I gotta talk about this, Chief. So if you don't know, all right, on the, the, the date is listed right there on the 7th of March of this year. A young lady and her friends decided they were going to act a fool and they were going to record the incident. Now, the only reason why we know about this is not because the Uber driver uploaded it. The young lady right here in question on, on, the, on the right side of your of, of the screen, the young lady right here, light skin, white, whatever she is, this this woman decided to upload it because she thought she thought she was in the right. Yes, you heard her you heard it right, ladies and gentlemen. She thought she was in the right. <clears throat> now, that wasn't the end of it, okay? Um the lady then goes on and she did, she does another video explaining her side of the story. My boyfriend taught me, he taught me, don't let nobody play with you, smack the f out them. That's what I was taught. So if y'all boyfriends told y'all to let this Uber, let y'all get out the car and get robbed or whatever the f would have happened, now that's on y'all. <laughs> First off, can we highlight how disgusting that laugh is? Oh my. Gosh. <laughs> oh, let's let's just finish it so I can talk about it afterwards. And he lucky as hell I ain't have nothing on me on mamas, cause if he would have played with me, bruh, it would have been a whole different story. For real, you not about to kick me out on the freeway. I everybody I know, seventy five percent of people I know would have smacked the shit out of him or done some crazy ass off the wall shit. Let me stop it for a second. The, he was not trying to drop the lady off on the, on the freeway. All right. There, there's another clip from her angle where she's recording. You can clearly see there in the parking lot of a gas station. He wasn't dropping off on the freeway. He was dropping off at a gas station. All right. The ladies got rowdy. They didn't want to wear masks. He told them, hey, you, I, he even pulled up to the gas station and said, hey, please, just get a mask. If you don't get a mask, I cannot drive you. You got to go. All right. The dude was being reasonable. This, this is what I don't understand about anti-maskers. And we're going to get to this lady, too, because I don't want to get away from the topic. I hate anti-maskers so bad because they want to be oppressed so bad, dog. If you somebody who don't believe in, you know what I'm saying, this pandemic, what got us here, that's one thing. But you do not have the right to violate other people's beliefs. So when you force someone, when you get into someone's vehicle and you refuse to wear a mask when you're using Uber or Lyft, you are therefore violating their choice. You have your choice, right? You didn't have to wear. It. You could have stayed your butt in the house. You could have walked. You could have. You could have. You could have got your own car. You had choices don't in, that don't involve others. The moment you have to use someone else's resources and get in their bubble, it is no longer your choice. So therefore, if they want you to wear a mask and they're wearing a mask, you will wear a mask. It's that simple. I, I don't want to hear crap about. Oh, it's it's tough. I can barely breathe. Sounds like a personal problem, buddy. The same thing that you anti-maskers say, oh, we shouldn't be locked down. It's a personal problem because most of us are going to survive this. Guess what? Take your own advice. All right, buddy, please. Oh, my God. Let's let's finish this. I want to I talk about this lady. All I did was smack, take his mask off and cough a little bit. But I ain't even have Corona. So at the end of the day, OK, yeah, I ain't going to lie. That was disrespectful. It's like I'm dead ass wrong for that. But. It could have been avoided, period, point blank. It could have been avoided. You could have just waited and made sure we were safe. If you would have made sure y'all passed this, this stupid ass Uber, bruh, on mamas. That's why I take Lyft. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. That's why I take Lyft. That's why I take Lyft. And so now let me let me unpack the video. Now y'all have seen the bulk of it, right? This happened. Oh, we ain't even done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll take that back. So this happens, right? So it goes viral. What happens next? All right. Boom. Lyft comes in and say, yo, let us get at him. All right. You know what I'm saying? She's been banned from Uber. Let us kick her while she's down too. 
Although this incident did not involve the Lyft platform, the unacceptable treatment of the driver in this video compelled us to permanently remove the driver. I said the driver, the rider from the Lyft community. Driving in a pandemic is not easy. Please wear a mask, respect one another, and be a good person. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But you think that's the end of it? You think that's the end of it? Oh, no, no, no. The end of that wasn't done stumping this lady down. Hold on. Let me play something for you, Chief. All right. So I'm not going to play it for you because I just thought about it. Every time I use a clip of somebody else's stuff that ain't a YouTuber, <laughs> it get claimed. I'm not doing that. So what happened was in this video, right? I'll bring up the video. I'll bring up the screenshot of the video. <clears throat> this lady right here in the red, she is in jail. All right. <laughs> they said we not playing with you we on bumpers right as, as this young lady over here will put it oh mama oh mamas they got her all right she in jail man down cold blue now we got her over here there is a warrant out for this young lady's arrest and she's reached out to a lawyer <laughs> and said hey she has plans to turn herself in but can we talk about it <laughs> she really thought that it was going to be the end of it she thought it was sweet so you know the internet is undefeated this story evolves some more so if you look here, <laughs> they found the girl's escort profile. All right. The young lady <laughs> is an escort. All right. And to be honest, I'm just not surprised. Take it how you want. Be angry or don't be angry. I don't care. I just am not surprised. <laughs> okay. All right. So now let me unpack this. Let me unpack this. Oh, oh wait. Is that the end of it? Is that it? I thought like it was something else I'm missing whatever whatever we, we didn't get down to the bottom all right we got to the nitty-gritty let's get down to the bottom of this this stuff triggers me all right it really makes me angry i'm not even gonna lie to you because we live in a time where people just want to be oppressed so bad dog and everybody wants to control everybody everybody feels like their opinions weigh and matter more what they feel matters more than what the next person i don't owe you anything all right like i said earlier in the video if you're an anti-masker that's your prerogative right but you can't force your way into restaurants when they say hey we don't let nobody in here without mask you we're not gonna we're not gonna come outside our store and put a mask on you and make you put on a mask. Just don't come in here, you ain't got a mask. Respect the establishment. People have been doing this for years, right? No shirt, no shoes, no service. I don't see nudists pulling up with the burner talking about, yo, y'all gonna let us up in here. Y'all gonna let us up in here. Yo, if you're an anti-masker, you have the right to be an anti-masker. If you don't believe in, 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 in what's going on with this pandemic right now, you have the right to not believe that. I truly don't give a damn. I believe in natural selection. So if that's your feeling, that's fine. But you cannot be calling up Uber drivers and jumping in their vehicles. And if they're uncomfortable with you, with you not wearing a mask, get angry. All right. You can't be going to restaurants and throwing a fit and embarrassing yourself Two, That's not even the only thing I want to talk about. I also want to talk about why, why, why is there this growing thing with women who, who think that they can do whatever they want? say whatever they want and disrespect people to, to extreme levels now i've seen some people in the comment sections trying to make excuses for this young lady she's a woman she's this she's that okay what if what if that dude would have turned around and hauled off and just stole on her she touched him she coughed on him in the middle of a pandemic she she all up in his business trying to snatch his phone off the, off the thing that he didn't work hard for and she's in the back of his vehicle and she's threatening him if i had that thing on me blah, blah 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 why do we have this growing culture of women thinking that that's okay it's like you expect a man to always show restraint and not put hands on you i understand that as a man putting hands on a woman is wrong that's fact but as a woman putting your hands on a man is also wrong that's fact keep your damn hands to yourself i don't understand why why there's this growing thing and it's not like this this is a rare occurrence this ain't like this is one of the few things you see. i see women on social media put their hands on men all the time all the time and, and i don't understand because because you know you know on average i'm not saying there's no women that's not stronger than some men that 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 is true but on average the average dude is stronger than than a man a woman 
So why would you put your hands on a man and, and put yourself in that scenario? What if he would have beat all of them up? What what if the dude was crazy and deranged? You don't even know if you was driving with a crazy Uber driver. The dude was just, he just trying to keep it together that day and get you to your place to save some bread. But you didn't tick this dude off and then he hop out and spray all y'all. Y'all all gone. Was it worth it? Anything could have possibly happened. Was it worth it? Why provoke that man? Why touch that man? Don't touch people, bro. That, that This is that stuff, bro. Stop lying to these females and not holding them accountable. Parents, be in your children's life. Don't just pay for them. Money ain't enough. You have to be involved. Because I'm telling you, if my daughter was wilding out like this, nah, dog. That, that ain't it, dog. That ain't it, bro. That ain't it. If, if she's a kid, then she probably gonna get a little discipline behind that. And if she a grown woman, man, don't come around me, man, out here embarrassing me, man. I, I, I work too goddamn hard raising you and putting food on the table and trying to mentor you into being a great human being. That's that's my job to you as a parent. I wish my child would be out here acting like this. And she on here talking about her man taught her that you don't let nobody disrespect you. And, and, and that if your man will let you be dropped off and Bob, man, man, I love my wife. But if I see my wife acting a fool like that, we definitely gonna have a conversation about that. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to her face and act like she like what she did was okay. Nah, nah, that ain't it. You weren't in the right at all under no circumstance. That man, the moment you crossed that line when you hopped in his car and didn't want to wear a mask, nah, he ain't have to wait on nothing. He ain't have to wait on nothing. You weren't entitled to anything, and I think that's a problem with a lot of people in 2021. Entitlement. The world doesn't owe you anything. If you could take anything from this video, I just want, I, I, that's what I want you to take away from this video. The world owes you nothing. Stop it with the entitlement, please, please. Cause I'm tired of being triggered, okay? <laughs> but if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for your time. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out, Chief.